you're watching Sabine One Tutorials. It's been a few months since I've done a tutorial. Um, sorry about that. But we're back on track now. So what I'm going to teach you guys is how to make, uh, basically how to take a person and put them somewhere else. Basically, you can take a picture of yourself in front of a white wall and essentially take you and put you in front of a forest or something. Basically how this works is we take away the wall or background that you're standing in front of and we add a background behind that. So let's find a photo. Normally when I take my photos, I normally take it in front of a green screen. This is the easiest way to um, edit photos. And here we go. So here we get a photo. We're going to crop this. What we're going to want to do is maybe create, we're going to create a new layer. So add a new layer right here. We're going to click this arrow here to put layer 2 under the background. Layer 2 is going to be our background. So let's double click layer 2. We'll call this background. Let's go up to this layer here and name it canvas. Now we're going to grab this magic wand or um, the shortcut key. Um, you can go to this by pressing control S. So you get this mess. So adjust your tolerance. Okay, this is good enough for now. Hold control and click any green that looks like it should not be there. See, we're getting closer and closer. Um, I'm not sure whether or not this is going to cut. Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, we'll keep holding control. Keep control clicking. Okay, if you get something like this, uh, you can j simply get lasso select, change your selection mode to subtract, and kind of move the, oh crap, move the mouse across there. Now I kind of deselected some stuff I wanted to keep, so I'll change selection to add. Oh, we get a little bit of a uh, speck there. And kind of go around here. There we go. And that's pretty much as perfect as we can get. Now we're going to do keep it on add. We got a lasso tool here that I'm using now. I don't have to keep holding control because I have the selection mode set to add. This basically lets you add on to the selection without having to hold control. And this can be pretty useful for when you're you have to select multiple items. Most of the time control is the best thing to have, but this gets rid of some hassle. I screwed up there. Um, okay, just start selecting all those specs, all those imperfections in the green screen. There we go. Now we still got a few more dots here. Get those dots. And there we go. We got the we got the selection around me. Um. Normally, if you do something with Photoshop or something, you can do f something called feathering. Unfortunately, with Paint.net, it's an add-on. And I can't really do... F I have to do feathering afterwards, not when I delete this. So, I'll delete the background. 
Um, we still got bits and pieces of green. Easiest way for me to fix this is to grab this lasso tool, select parts, select some parts of my shirt while not grabbing anything that's my skin. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is black and white. And... No, that's not good. Never mind. Well, this is good enough. So, now we have our background. We can choose something off the internet or something. So, background, <coughs> images, and I'm just going to choose any old image here. Maybe I'll choose this. Now you can see there's some rough edges here. Um, I have decided to um, have a little download link with uh, the Feather plugin for Paint.net. So you guys can download that and I'll make a tutorial on how to apply different plugins and whatnot to Paint.net. So, let's see where do I go. Feather selection. Okay. Just waiting for my preview here. So here are feather selections rendering. Okay, let's see if this worked. Yep, it smoothened out the um, rough edges and it's feathered. <coughs> so yeah, this is a tutorial on how to take any old image, get rid of the background, and put a background behind you. Um, depending on what kind of background backdrop you're trying to remove, it could be easier or more difficult, but this is the easiest way. So if you're planning on maybe uh, doing some cool photoshopping, buy a green piece of fabric from a store, hang it up on your wall, take a picture in front of it, and just um, use your magic wand tool to get rid of it. So yeah, thank you for watching Sabine One Tutorials. Now here's our next step. Adjustments, brightness, contrast,